Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Let the mind rest right here. It doesn't have to go out and get involved with anything else for the time being. As for the sounds from outside or the thoughts coming through the mind, just let them pass right through. You don't need to engage them. You want to focus on something that's of real worth for the mind, and it gives the mind a sense of well-being, a sense of rest. All the work the mind does, it has to gain, has to have a time to rest. And sleeping is not usually enough because you can never guarantee that the sleep will go well. But if you can train your mind to be in concentration on the breath or in concentration on any other topics that the Buddha taught, the mind gains rest and it gains strength at the same time. Think of this as the same principle we have today. Today's Labor Day. So are people out there laboring? No, they're resting. In recognition of the fact that labor requires rest if it's going to be well done. So all the work the mind needs to do, you need to give it a place to rest. So resting the mind like this is not selfish. Actually, the more strength you gain from the meditation, the more you're able to have to offer to others. So give the mind its time to rest. See if the breath can be adjusted so that it feels good. There is a little bit of work in finding a good rest like this, but it's not that much. Just notice what kind of breathing feels good and stick with that. And keep reminding yourself that at the mo this moment there are no other responsibilities you have. So that when you leave the meditation and do take on your responsibilities, you'll be well rested. And then when the mind is well rested, it can see things a lot more clearly and has the strength to carry through with what it sees as right and wrong. In other words, you see something as wrong, you, you learn how to abandon it. You see what something is right, you learn how to develop it. And because the mind is rested, it has strength. Because it's still, it can see clearly. So you learn how you can make your mind more trustworthy by giving it a good place to stay like this and making this a regular part of your day. The work of the world, if you give it all of its all that it demands, it will fill up your entire day. You'll have no time for yourself at all. So you have to make time. Keep reminding yourself that the work of the world never ends. So you have to make time within the work of the world. Even though things are unfinished, you've got to make sure the mind is t taken care of. The mind is in good shape, so it can continue with the work as long as it can. And more importantly, it can look after its own work. Because after all, that, there comes a the point where the work of the world you have to put aside. Not because it's done, because simply you can't do it anymore. You don't have the strength. At that point, what will the mind have to depend on? If it's developed good qualities inside, it'll have a lot to depend on. If it hasn't developed them, then you'll be totally at a loss. So you do this both for the sake of the work that you have to do outside and for the sake of the work you have to do inside. As a mind well rested has strength.